back in the theaters. Uh, it's been a little bit. Sunday afternoon here to see Speak No Evil. Haven't been feeling good the past couple days, so I'm excited to finally get back to my therapy session on Sunday afternoon. There it is. Looks like they're selling stuff now. I've been saying for a while that they need to start selling like merchandise for the movies coming out and I'm glad that they're finally doing it. I wish there was a little bit more though, but there's some stuff for Transformers 1, um, some other stuff right there, there's some Beetlejuice cards, and then around the corner there's also some more um, like cups as well and Beetlejuice merchandise, but I thought it was pretty cool. I like the addition. excited for this one too. And Moana too. I'm excited for that one as well. People would really like to hear from you after all this time. I can't do that much cool. It's too much. Maybe but probably not. I need more money. Yeah, when I first saw Joker, when I saw you, world tour. I see this one too. I keep seeing this face everywhere. All right, so I am home, and here are just some thoughts from um, Speak No Evil. First of all, I thought it was a great movie. Um, it, I would probably give it a seven, probably a seven out of ten, probably three and a half or four probably three and a half out of uh, five stars, but I thought James McAvoy, I, first of all, the only reason I really wanted to see it is, first of all, it did look interesting, but I really like him as an, um, as an actor. I think he does great in a lot of things. My favorite movie of his is being Split. Um, anyway, this movie was a little bit of a slow burn at first. It really got you into the characters, introducing you to the characters, and throughout the movie, it gave you little hints of them being crazy. Obviously, we know they are from the uh, from the trailers, from them trying to kill them in the trailers. We know they're going to be a little bit crazy, but we kind of see hints throughout just a little bit of who they are um, as the couple. The whole time, I was like, I would not trust anything they're saying, but anyway... Um, I'm trying not to do any spoilers, but I did not call the the twist. Um, my wife, I told her the twist. I usually just talk to her about the movies after. And she's like, obviously that was going to happen. She Apparently she knew from the trailers and I did not call it. But let me know if you called that in the... Uh, in the um in the comments once again i'm not trying to spoil it but i just i didn't see that coming i knew something was going to happen but i guess i didn't think that specifically i once again i'm not trying to spoil it so i'm not going to say anything but anyway um the good about this movie james mcavoy and i forgot what the uh the main lady is i forgot her name but i thought they did very good the other acting was good but those two really stood out to me um the cinematography was great um like I said, it was a little bit of a slow burn, but it did keep me interested throughout. I don't know if this would be one where I could rewatch it a lot, but those last 30 minutes, really, when that twist happens and when it kind of cranks up, it does get really good. Um, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you liked it, didn't like it, did, would you give it a higher or lower than 7 out of 10? Peace.